The Artemis II Dynamic Mattress is a triple therapy system. The alternating therapy for effective pressure relief, constant low pressure for optimum low pressure, and pulsation therapy. The Dynamic Pressure Therapy Mattress is a replacement mattress with a one in two cell cycle system. There is a fully automatic pressure adjustment determined by the patient weight and positioning. The mattress has three zones, the head, the torso and the heel, which provide optimum pressure redistribution. The maximum patient weight is 42 stone or 267 kilograms. This includes any bedding or accessories. The mattress is for very high risk patients, including up to a category four pressure ulcer. However, frequent monitoring and repositioning are required. A risk assessment must be performed to ensure the suitability of a patient. For example, unstable spinal injuries, children and patients with reduced capacity, and patients with gross edema whilst using the alternating therapy. Once placed on the bed platform, ensure the air connector tubing is at the foot end of the bed and the feet symbol are facing up. Ensure the straps are secured around the movable sections of the bed frame, making sure they are not twisted in order to reduce any movement during ingress and egress. Please also refer to your own local policy. Avoid contact with any sharp objects that could puncture the mattress. The control unit fits on the footboard of the bed. Attach the air connector tube set to the control unit. Check there are no kinks or any trap parts in the bed frame. Ensure the CPR dial is rotated to the closed position. The mains cable fits the length of the mattress in the integral cable tidy. Attach the pump power lead to the socket and switch the pump on. The home screen will appear on the digital control system of the pump. Inflation can take up to 45 minutes. Home screen will show initializing, then beep when the setup is complete. System is ready to use will be displayed on the home screen. Secure the sheets loosely to ensure they do not interfere with any cell alternation. The cover is multi-stretch, water resistant, vapor permeable, and has a high frequency welded seam. There is also a fully concealed 360 degree zip which reduces the possibility of fluid ingress and aids infection control. The mattress has a white inner substrate on the underside of the cover, which helps auditing procedures by making staining easy to identify if the cover has been compromised. There is a one in two cell cycle over a 10 minute period, ensuring that 50% of the patient's contact area is supported, whilst the other 50% has optimum pressure relief. There are three static head cells giving the head full support. This is better tolerated by patients who find the movement in the mattress difficult and eliminates any feelings of nausea. There are eight specially designed heel cells, which are narrower to support the area and lower to ensure maximum pressure relief to the vulnerable heel area. The individual cells are of an air-on-air -air construction, which provides a supportive base, allowing the lower section of each cell to remain inflated. The digital control panel on the pump has a power button, a mode button, which includes alternating, constant low pressure and pulsation, a maximum inflation button, which lasts for 20 minutes. The comfort control button includes firm, standard and low settings. The changes up or down are low to firm. This increases the pressures by 20% or decreases the pressures by 20%. Visual weight indication display, this is a guidance only. The patient weight will be assessed every 60 minutes. The minimum weight is 40 kilograms. The maximum weight is 267 kilograms. Each square represents 10 kilograms. Power failure illumination, lock and unlock function, mute alarm button, which silences the audible alarm for 20 minutes. The home button, which returns you to the home screen. The digital screen will inform the carer of the chosen mode.
the cycle time and the internal cell pressures. The mattress automatically defaults to alternating mode when it is switched on. The three main modes are alternating therapy mode, constant low pressure therapy mode and pulsation mode. The therapy selected will appear in the home screen on the front of the pump. Patients can be prescribed both alternating or constant low pressure depending on their needs and the clinical judgment of the carer. Constant low pressure allows the mattress to contour to the patient's body. This reduces contact pressure by increasing the surface area over which the patient is supported. Pulsation mode provides patients with constant low pressure therapy with the addition of a gentle up-down movement where cell pressures increase and decrease by 30% over a 10 minute cycle. Max inflate mode should be selected when patients are regressing the bed, rolling from side to side for personal care and moving up the bed. This gives a firm surface for patients to find a purchase and less assistance is required from the caregiver. When the max inflate is selected, after 20 minutes, the system automatically reverts back to alternating. It is a safety mechanism to ensure patients are not left on an overinflated surface. The comfort control allows optimum comfort for patients without compromising on performance. Please use your clinical judgment when changing any of the pressure settings. Press the comfort control button. Press the up or down button to select the setting, then press the enter button. There are three available comfort settings, firm, standard and low. Should the pump be turned off for any reason, it will always return to its default setting of standard. If a patient's backrest is more than 25 degrees head of bed angle, the auto seat will be activated in order to support the patient's sacral area. If the patient feels they require extra support, increase the comfort setting. The control unit locks out all functionality after two minutes of inactivity. This is indicated by the lock in the right corner of the home screen. Press the lock button to unlock the pump. The mute function silences the audible alarm. This will re-alarm after 20 minutes if the cause is unresolved. The audible alarm sounds when the power is switched off. Press alarm mute to silence. Switch modes from alternating to constant low pressure and wait for all cells to inflate before transporting the patient. Remove the air connector, which has a non-return valve from the control unit. Turn off the control unit. Mattress stays inflated for up to 24 hours in normal conditions. Rapid deflation of the mattress may be required for emergency treatment or system deflation. In an emergency or to deflate rapidly, turn the CPR dial to open. Turn the CPR dial to closed to reinflate. Wait for the mattress system to reach optimal pressure prior to a return to normal use. Once reinflated, ensure the correct settings are reselected. To use the extended functions, press comfort control, then press the down button to select the required function. The patient egress alarm, turn off and on. If activated, the pump provides an audio-visual signal if it senses that the occupant has got out of the bed due to a sudden change in force being exerted on the cells. Change of cycle time, auto lock where the interface will not automatically lock, weight display on off, weight kilograms or pounds, a low weight pressure setting can be used for patients who are 40 kilograms and under. Low weight patient will appear in the home screen digital display. The pressure in the air cells will be significantly reduced. If the pump is turned off, the low weight setting will need to be reset. The Artemis 2 cushion can be used as part of a 24 hour plan of care.
Ensure the mattress is placed in transport mode so that it stays inflated whilst the patient is sitting out. The maximum patient weight is 115 kilograms or 18 stone. It has a 360 degree zip. There are two sizes, 18 inch and 20 inch. The 18 inch cushion has nine cells and the 20 inch cushion has 10 cells. The chair cushion has straps that attach to a chair to avoid any slippage. Ensure the air connector tube set fits directly into the pump for inflation. Please use the transport mode so that the cushion can remain inflated, allowing the patient to alternate between the mattress and the chair cushion throughout the day. The chair cushion cover is multi-stretch, vapor permeable and water resistant. The chair cushion has a white inner substrate on the underside of the cover which helps auditing procedures by making staining easy to identify if the cover has become compromised. Incontinence products may be used, however, the mattress or the chair cushion performance may be compromised due to the reduced effectiveness of the alternating pressure redistribution.